it is indicated by the tilde sign and the uh, lack of the return type because uh, nor the constructor neither the destructor need a uh, return type all right just write it uh, destructed all right then like that okay then we have a set thing so this will be just set the something value to that double okay now I just show you the default value so it will be 0, 0 0.0 and uh, make a something equal to D so we could uh, call this set thing <coughs> function actually without any parameter and we would get that uh, we would get the same result as we would uh, call it with a zero so something equal d all right <coughs> now write this function don't forget to uh, delete the semicolon after it so guessing it will be just simple return with something by volume <coughs> <coughs> like that all right and we have a write this function because this tutorial originally started as the this tutorial so sorry that I don't make a really close to the actual subject but uh, the object oriented is a little complicated actually not complicated it need a different uh, logic and uh, thinking and I tried to explain it why I do what I do and why so maybe you can uh, improve that thinking in you so can you can write uh, good uh, object oriented programs uh, later all right right this uh, write this as you can see it is it becomes red so the this is actually a pointer this is a this pointer okay the this is the address of the of the object uh, which I am working at the moment so in this case if I instance an object of this so I think it is called thing um, the one thing okay and make another thing two thing okay and uh, as you can see I called without any parameter so this uh, constructor will called so the something will be zero actually make it to 2.3 just why not okay this will call the double constructor actually write it out so you can you believe me so write out that uh, oh constructor with no, no parameter okay and write out here two constructor with double parameter and write out here two with int parameter all right you, uh, we write out just to believe me okay this will call the constructor with double parameter this will co uh, call the constructor with no parameter okay and actually compile it before I make too much mistake okay oh I've already make okay so in this tutorial I will show you the error handling was not so there is the line of the er error and uh, oh I get it I forget to make it uh, so it is not inside this thing 
it is a global declaration all right but this was a long tutorial so i allow to make t uh, mistakes like this okay now it compile and make it okay constructed with no parameters and constructed with double parameters okay the hap wha what happened in before so without this um, <coughs> scope resolution operator which gets from the thing this write this it would mean that we uh, make a write this global function so that's n uh, make no mi uh, that makes no error but uh, it cannot use of course the private variable or things because it even don't know there is a thing because the it is not inside it so yeah that was the mistake so oh, uh, you shouldn't copy and paste because you make a mistakes like this you make mistakes like this so you should always type it and there is no there will be no mistake okay as i said in the previous tutorial if you define a function outside of the class you have to put the uh, this so to get the thing scope that function so the compiler will know you don't want to define actually declare and declare and define a global function you want to define the function which was declared in the class uh, is that clear I think so all right and as you can see it here we constructed the first, we constructed the last, and we destructed both of them. Alright, uh, now write the this. So, one thing, this, I think that's what it's called, and two thing, write this. Alright, it should give two hexadecimal number which is actually a memory address it is not so interesting although oh, although it show us some basic things like it is <coughs> some interesting things so it show some interesting things as you can see the difference is between the two number is exactly 8 byte that's why there is a double a double and as you, uh, you as you should already known uh, as you should already as you have should already known from the last tutorial where we used the size of operator uh, in this machine the size of something is exactly uh, size of double is exactly 8 byte so that's why it is <coughs> 8 uh, but uh, eight, 8 byte uh, after another so 8 byte is the difference alright <coughs> uh, hmm, let me think uh, you should you will not use the this pointer for too much uh, you can do a constructor with the name of something like uh, for example something so we made a something but the something is I actually the name of the uh, class uh, private class variable member so in this case uh, y you have to uh, get uh, something from the this okay because this a pointer you need to <coughs> to um, you need the indirection operator yeah indirection operator so you can get with the dot operator we used actually this is the member selection operator or something like that it will get something from the this okay this first is the something from the class like that because it get the this class something 
and this something is the something from the parameter I think it's gonna work but maybe not we will see alright we get the same result almost the same result and uh, <coughs> as you can see the memory address we are using is different but uh, I just said it's not interesting you should already know this and I would like to get the opportunity to show you this little arrow uh, little arrow this this is the member selection operator uh, for pointers because the this is the is a pointer we use this this is the same as w uh, that we indirect it and then use the dot uh, it is the, the same always as uh, make a pointer and use this arrow member selection operator with actually a dot and a greater than sign alright it should compile perfectly okay and see the result is very similar then uh, actually make another thing but this will be a pointer so pointer 3 thing alright this will be called with an integer like that okay uh, and then oh we shouldn't call it because it's a pointer it will point to the address of one thing okay and after this we will get the three thing uh, the write this function three thing and we use the arrow selection operator write this function like that you see and this will it gives the same result exactly than one thing because it is the one thing actually just uh, yeah okay compile it run it and as you can see it gives the exactly same result although I just want to show you how the member selection operator arrow thing work in the <coughs> in the practice uh, this is the similar as you put the indirection operator the three thing so the pointer to the class and with the dot member selection operator you put the write this function this will uh, give the exact same result if we compile and run it as you can see it give the exact same result so the this three is the exactly the same alright that should be enough for one tutorial because I covered at least two uh, main uh, subject like uh, the this which was uh, which I started to make the this and the error selection operator I show you so this error selection operator like this and error selection operator and I show you the function overloading in classes although it should be very familiar to you because uh, we already learned that actually I showed you I'm not sure that you learned that but the doesn't care okay uh, it will be hard to make decision what title should I give this this member selection operator overloading functions or I don't know 